Have you ever sat down to imagine a futuristic city rising from the dusty desert fueled by renewable energy, sustainable living, and innovation? Sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, right? But what if I told you that this is a real-life project with a budget of $400 billion and the potential to transform not just America, but the entire world? How was this audacious idea conceived? What kind of people would be crazy enough to dream up a city in the middle of nowhere? And what kind of vision could possibly justify such a staggering investment? The answer to these questions lie in a bold new initiative called Telosa. And in this video, we're going to explore why it's generating so much excitement and hope for a brighter future. Keep watching to get all the information you need to know about Telosa, America's $400 billion future city. Before we get into it, subscribe to this channel if you are just coming across it and turn on the notification bell for more of our amazing content. Without further ado, let's get started. You might want to ask, what is Telosa all about and who is behind the idea of building a new city from scratch? Located smack dab in the middle of Nevada, Arizona and Utah deserts, Telosa City will cover an incredible 150,000 hectares of land. And get this! The city planners expect a whopping 50,000 residents to call it home by as early as 2030. But wait, there's more. The name Telosa comes from the Greek word for highest goal, and that's exactly what the city is aiming for. With a focus on sustainability and diversity, this is a place where everyone is welcome and the environment is just as important as the people who live there. To that end, Telosa City will be powered almost entirely by renewable energy, with every building sporting its own set of solar panels. And because water is such a precious commodity in the desert, the city will feature multiple water treatment plants to ensure that this valuable resource is used sparingly. But that's not all. In Telosa City, you'll be able to find everything you need right on your doorstep. That's because the city is being designed to be a 15-minute city, meaning that all the shops and services you could ever need will be within easy walking or cycling distance. And forget about cars because in Telosa, pedestrians and cyclists are the stars of the show. Telosa is a city that is designed to be eco-friendly and easily accessible. To achieve this goal, the city will not allow any vehicles that use fossil fuels. Instead, people will be encouraged to travel on foot or use public transportation, including scooters, bicycles, and autonomous vehicles. The centerpiece of Telosa will be the Equity Skyscraper, which will serve as a landmark for the city. The skyscraper will have various features such as water storage, aeroponic farms, and a roof covered in photovoltaic panels to generate electricity. The Equitism Tower, a photovoltaic structure located in Telosa's Central Park, is set to be the city's centerpiece. The tower will feature elevated water storage and aeroponic farms that enable it to share and distribute its production. Although specific details about the city's design remain vague, the overall focus is on sustainable living and environmentally friendly solutions to the challenges that come with building a new city in the desert. Telosa aims to embody a new model of society that is not only sustainable and ultra-modern, but also intentionally diverse. As part of this vision, billionaire Lore seeks to attract 50,000 individuals from a wide range of backgrounds, ages, and abilities to live in Telosa. While specifics on the diversity criteria have not been disclosed, it can be assumed that inclusivity is a top priority. Lore has proposed a model called Equitism for Telosa which would enable every citizen to build and sell their homes while the city retains ownership of the land. He believes that this setup could lead to Telosa's desert land becoming worth $1 trillion in the future, with $50 billion from investments and endowments going towards funding healthcare, education, and a safe environment for families in the city. Unlike traditional cities, private ownership will not exist in Telosa. Instead, a foundation will invest lease revenue back into social services. This unique approach ensures that residents have an active say in political decisions, allowing them to shape their community's future. While some may question the viability of this model, it is worth noting that Singapore has successfully implemented a similar approach, with the government owning 90% of the country's land and reinvesting the proceeds back into the nation. Lor hopes that Telosa can serve as a blueprint for other cities, especially those that have suffered from political divisions and broken trust over time. Let's shed a little light on Mark Lore, the brainchild of Telosa, a former president of Walmart US e-commerce and a billionaire. The 50-year-old billionaire who inherited his father's appetite for taking risks sees this project as a utopian society that will offer an equitable and sustainable future, which can serve as a blueprint for future generations. Lore's desire to build something from nothing stems from his childhood dreams of becoming a farmer, where he was fascinated by the idea of seeing things grow. Despite the enormity of the challenge, many experts and pundits are keeping a close eye on the project, 
although they consider it near impossible. Upon announcing his departure from Walmart, Lore revealed his ambitious plan to create a city of the future that operates on a reformed version of capitalism. This innovative concept, which Lore calls equities, seeks to establish a new societal model where wealth is generated through fair means, without burdening the affluent or raising taxes. Instead, it aims to distribute the wealth generated by the citizens back to them. To realize his vision, Lore has enlisted the services of Bjark Ingels Group, a leading architectural firm owned by Danish architect Bjark Ingels, to handle the master planning of the proposed city. Funding Funding Telosa will come from various sources, including private investors, philanthropists, federal and state grants, and subsidies for economic development. Telosa's first phase is estimated to require $25 billion, and this will mainly be financed by investors and philanthropists with the possibility of government subsidies covering some of the expenses. Lore, whose current net worth is approximately $500 billion, intends to contribute to the project's funding by utilizing the returns on his startup investments. There is no doubt that such a huge project will encounter some challenges. Now, let's look at the challenges this project might face. Number one, environmental challenges. Telosa will face significant environmental challenges due to its location in the desert. Among these challenges, the lack of water is a major issue that already affects cities like Los Angeles, Miami, Phoenix, and Atlanta. Critics warn that the ongoing climate crisis will exacerbate water shortages in the future. Good news! To address these challenges, Telosa's designers have developed sophisticated plans that prioritize sustainability and renewable energy. One such plan involves a system that stores, cleans, and reuses fresh water on site. Number 2. Financing the construction of Telosa will require a significant amount of investment and securing the necessary funding may prove challenging. The project's estimated cost is around $400 billion, and finding investors willing to finance such a large-scale venture may be difficult. Moreover, the project's success will depend heavily on the ability to secure long-term funding sources to support ongoing maintenance, development, and operation costs. Number 3. Construction the construction of Telosa will be a massive undertaking and may face challenges such as land acquisition, zoning, and building permits, as well as dealing with environmental and legal issues. The construction of such a large and complex project is likely to face delays, construction challenges, and cost overruns that could impact the project's overall feasibility and viability. Number 4. Attracting Residents While the idea of a sustainable city may appeal to many people, attracting a large enough number of residents to Telosa may prove challenging. The city's location may not be convenient for everyone, and the cost of living in Telosa may be higher than in other cities. Additionally, the project's success will depend heavily on the ability to attract businesses and industries to the city, creating job opportunities and economic growth. Without sufficient job opportunities, it may be difficult to attract and retain residents, leading to a population decline and negatively impacting the project's overall viability. Well, big projects like this one always come with a lot of controversies. From those who are in support of it and those who see it as a waste of resources because they think it will be listed as an abandoned project in no time because of its cost. But what are your thoughts concerning Telosa? Do you love the idea? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.